So, I'm just out in the woods here today with the dogs for a few hours, so just giving the dogs a run and uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of training as well, a little bit of recall training, so I'm going to brush up on, uh, on their skills for coming back to me when I call them, which is really important if you're going to run your dogs off leash like this, so we're going to do that and uh, I got a small game license and I also have a, a duck license or a migratory bird license. So we're going to look for some grouse and some ducks when we get out towards the water here. We're heading out towards a little cove in the salt water. So we'll have a look for some grouse and some ducks. And I got some, uh, some new sausages to cook up on the fire here in a bit. So figured I'd take the camera along, do a short little video here. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. So... I'm going to spend most of the day out here and uh, just enjoy the uh, beautiful weather and the outdoors here in central Newfoundland. Alright, so as we're hiking out the trail here, I'm just going to do a little bit of recall training. So I'll use this little whistle. So Molly here, she's uh, almost 11 years old now, chocolate lab. And uh, she doesn't go very far from me at all now anyways. She just kind of tags along next to me, a goose. He's, uh, he's a ball of energy. He's way up ahead here now. He just runs flat out the whole time. So this training is more or less for him. So uh, I like to know that when I blow this whistle now and call him back, if he's way up ahead, that he's going to come back to me. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't done any training with him lately, but he's usually pretty good. So All right, so Goose has gone way up ahead here. So I just got some, uh, some training treats. Basically, I just reward him when he comes back let him know that he did the right thing so we'll give it a try here oh, good boy good boy sit good boy good girl molly good boy good dogs okay let's go all right we'll try this again both of the dogs are up ahead now here good girl good girl good boy goose good boy sit good So pretty happy with that so they're doing good with the recall training so I uh, haven't done it in a while should be doing it more often but uh, that's the thing once you uh, you know if you get them started when they're pups training them like this uh, you know once you get it nailed down and they get it they get it down pat you don't have to do it all the time just brush up on it every once in a while and uh, they're good to go so anyways we're gonna keep hiking here uh, so grouse season is open for shooting and uh, rabbits is not open yet so we can't take rabbits but we can take grouse and uh, 
ducks and geese are also open so there's a couple little gullies here on this bag we can check for birds and we'll also check out in the saltwater cove now once we get out here and we'll just keep an eye out for grouse along the trail here on the way out so goose is pretty good at flushing grouse out so we'll see if he can uh, flush something up in the tree for us here on the way out the trail so i'm carrying my uh, winchester sxp 12 gauge shotgun here today Give you a better look at it so pretty versatile little shotgun uh this one has a short barrel i believe it's the 18 inch barrel so it's ideal for small game hunting uh i use it mostly for grouse and rabbits and stuff but uh it's also you know you can take ducks and geese with it maybe not ideal for that kind of hunting with the shorter barrel but uh definitely gets the job done so for ammunition i've got some winchester super x steel shot here so i'll use those for any uh any waterfowl I have used steel shot here in newfoundland for waterfowl and then i just brought along some old various uh number four lead shots i have a ton of these kicking around that i just need to use up so i use these for uh for any grouse if we see them So oh, just came up on this little gully here on the bag. Nothing here at all. Goose is already gone up ahead. I held him back for a while just to check and see if there's anything here, but nothing. Goose is out in the water now, swimming around. There he is. All right, so we're getting pretty close to the little cove that I'm trying to uh, make my way out to. So before we get there, I'm gonna put the dogs on a leash. And uh, I've seen ducks out in that cold before, so I'll put the dogs on their leash and try and slowly creep out there, see if there's anything there. If not, no big deal. Uh, we'll get a fire going and get some food on the go. two ducks way over on the other shore I didn't see him until he went to wing so they obviously saw us coming before I saw them but uh, maybe there'll be more around so I'm just gonna try and creep my way out if there's nothing else here I got a little spot off in the woods here where I uh, camped out before so we'll uh, head up there and I'm gonna get a fire going but uh, who knows maybe something will fly in and pitch in the cove here while we're uh, while we're cooking up our lunch. Shit. All right, well, that was a bit of a fail, so. When we first got out, I saw two ducks go to wing, and I thought that they were the only two here, so I didn't see any more. So I let the dogs off the leash, let them run, and when they ran out in the water, the dogs, there was another like eight or ten ducks that just flew up out of the water over across on the other shore here. So yeah, that was a fail for sure. As you can tell, I don't, uh, I don't have the dogs trained for duck hunting or anything so I just never never put that kind of training into them uh, I don't do a lot of duck hunting like uh, hunting with decoys or hunting out of a blind or anything so I never really trained them for this but uh, you know my style is just kind of trekking through the woods 
with the dogs and I take the gun and if I happen to be lucky enough to see something and, and take it then that's good but if not I just enjoy trekking through the woods with the dogs so anyways ideally I'd have them trained to like heal and stay stay behind me until I give them a command to move or whatever if I'm trying to creep up on ducks like we were just doing but it is what it is it's all just for fun so we're tucked away in this little spot here now I'm gonna try and be as quiet as I can because some of these ducks they just flew just out the cove I can still see them they're way offshore but they didn't go very far so I'm gonna try and be as quiet as I can while I make a little fire here and cook some lunch and who knows maybe maybe if we stay quiet enough and tucked away enough some of those ducks might come back in and pitch out in front of us here so we'll see but uh, yeah I'm getting hungry so let's get a fire going and uh, get these moose sausages on the go So if you've been watching the channel for a while, uh, you've probably seen me camp out in this spot before. So I think I've done two videos, maybe even three videos here now in this spot. So uh, it's just a little secluded cove in the salt water. Beautiful little spot here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get to. You have to walk out here. Uh, about an hour's walk from the road. So there's no trails or anything. I just kind of uh, take a, a bunch of bags and cut Cut my way through the woods and, and make it out here so don't usually see anybody else around and uh, there's always ducks out in this cove almost every time i've been out here i've seen ducks so nice little spot to come for a camping trip or uh, or even just a day trip like this and have a little boil up spend the day out in the woods which is what we're doing here anyways molly's out in the water now so the chances of those ducks coming back is uh Pretty much zero, but you never know. I'll get her back up here in a minute, and hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll swing back around. So I'm just going to use one of these little uh, cotton balls. Keep this in my fire starting kit. Cotton ball soaked in petroleum jelly. These will burn for a couple of minutes, and uh, great for getting a fire going. Even though everything's pretty dry right now, we haven't had any rain for a few days, but. I'm going to use one anyways because I've got tons of them in my bag. Just waiting for the kettle to boil. Just relaxing here, man. What a beautiful day. Should have brought my drone out. It would have been a beautiful day to fly the drone around, but I uh, never really thought about it until after I got out here. So I have to try and remember to bring it next time. Yeah, for anyone who didn't uh, see who won my subscriber, my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, the winner was Corey Kelly. So I posted it on my social media and stuff uh, that he won the contest. So just figured I would let uh, let you guys know on YouTube just in case you don't uh, follow me on social media or whatever. So yeah, just going to have a coffee, enjoy the view, and uh, then I'm going to get the moose sausages on the grill. So I've had a few comments on some of my videos lately from people just uh, asking me to talk a little more about some of the gear that I use. So I'm going to try and include uh, some more gear descriptions and stuff in some of my videos moving forward here. So I talked a little bit about the shotgun earlier that I'm using here today. And uh, just figured I would mention a little bit about this knife that I have. So a lot of you guys are probably familiar with these little Mora knives. Uh, these are awesome little budget knives. Uh, so these are only about 20 bucks. 
You can get them in all different colors, come with just a plastic sheath. But uh, actually pretty pretty good little knives for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. So it comes with a stainless steel blade, Scandi grind, and uh, yeah, just great little uh, knives. I've got two or three of these now. So I just keep, I always keep one either in my bag or in my, uh, my aluminum speed boat or whatever, just a little backup knife but today i was heading out and i saw it there so i decided to uh, put this one on my belt and take this as my main knife yeah awesome little knives like i said 20 bucks you really can't go wrong you can find them at most all uh, hunting stores or you can get them online so mora is the brand made in sweden and just an awesome little knife So I got some hot Italian moose sausages. So these are ones I made myself last year from the moose that I killed last fall. Only got a couple of packs left. So hoping that uh, my wife is gonna get a moose this fall. Restock the freezer. Starting to get pretty low on, uh, on moose meat here now. Anyways, these are gonna be good. All right, I think we're getting pretty close to done here. Just gonna cut one open, make sure it's cooked through. Oh yeah, we're good. Starting to burn up a little bit on the outside, so we're gonna take them off now, they're done. Well, I didn't bring a plate, so just gonna eat these right off of the grill here. Goose is pretty interested. I'll get you a piece now in a minute. So, I made these last fall with the moose that I harvested last year, like I said. And it was my first attempt at making my own sausages. And I gotta say, they turned out pretty good. I just looked up a, a recipe online. It was just basically a bunch of different spices and stuff. And you just mix it in with the meat and stuff them into the casings. It's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, they're a little tiny bit on the dry side, so I think I would, next time I would put a little more fat in with them. Make them a little juicier, but overall they turned out pretty good. You want a piece, Goose? Come here. Come on, sit. Good boy. All right, guys, well, we just finished up lunch. So, new sausages hit the spot as usual. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. So I just snapped one of the legs off my tripod for the camera, so. Kind of hard to film anything without that. So I think I'm just gonna wrap up the video, pack away the camera gear. So the ducks never did come back. I'm still keeping an eye out here, but I don't think they're gonna come back. We pretty, uh, we spooked them pretty good, I think, when we uh, came busting through the woods there. But yeah, beautiful day to be out nonetheless. So just a short video again this time. So I know the videos haven't uh, probably been the most exciting lately, but uh, just haven't had time to get out and do any camping trips or anything like that. So just trying to uh, 
to keep some content on the channel here and include a few of these shorter day trips and stuff so hopefully we'll get some uh, some camping done here soon and get some longer videos on the channel but until then thanks for watching don't forget to comment and uh, subscribe like hit the like button all that stuff helps out and we'll see you on the next video